Hello there, and welcome everyone here to qualifying here at Carbondale. It's gonna be our first race weekend at Carbondale. Another inaugural race weekend. <laughs> Should be an exciting one here. Mason Gordon in the 34 car. It's gonna be our first guy to take to the racetrack in the 34 Dodge. That team will be going to a Ford for next season. They will be running part time again for next season. This next season they'll run more races at more attempts of races, I I suppose. This team has not made a race in, since Fontana earlier this season. They've made partial attempts since then, but not made much attempts here. So as everyone goes out, Sean Perkins in the number 41 car coming in this race weekend. That team is outside of the top 35 in order points. So they should be Gorga Homers, but since Sean Perkins is in the championship fight for this race weekend, Perkins is locked into the races until he is eliminated from the championship if he ever is eliminated. So that is the deal there. So now it's no longer top um, seven gets in on speed. Top six get in on speed. If we have a past champion provisional that is needed to be used, the top five get in on speed. <coughs> Mason Gordon, a winner. His last win in the Sony Cup Series came at Savannah, um, which was Season 7, which was 13 seasons ago. So Mason Gordon knows how to get around on these short tracks, so Cloud9 decided to put an entry on here, and Gordon has a fighting chance right now. Sixth out of the nine, seventh out, seventh out of the nine. He's got a fighting chance, though. Maybe he can get it done. The seven car is rookie and Hardy, Hardy's National Series driver, Jerry Guerrero. Guerrero came very, very close to winning the season opener of the Hardy's National Series in Daytona. And um, he drives for Curtis over there in the Hardy's National Series. So Curtis being a driver in the Sony Cup Series, um, good friends with Mr. S Shane Side, so he hooked Guerrero up with a Cup Series ride, and Guerrero right now has to qualify that car in on, on speed, and he is doing so right now, the quickest one in town. James Shelley is there, Jordan Fisher's looking good to make this race here. Sean Harpel and Dave Pepper. that is rounding out them last few spots. Uh, Michael White is there trying to make it in on speed. The number four car is driven by Dom Caps this week. It got um, he got fired from Swagger Motorsports, and CBM picked him up for the last few races until the chase. And since Dom Caps has not ran very well for CBM in his races, he was in. He got released yet again from another team, and Titanium Motorsports decided to throw him in the race car here because Rick Schultz was. Not able to race, and Dom Caps was in this one here. Not sure if Dom Caps will be taking over this ride and entirely for the rest of the season, but Dom Caps is the only past champion, past champion in the Scorga Home session. So, if he needed to use the past champion's provisional, which this four car has failed to qualify for 23 races of this season, that might need to be a past champion provisional usage there. Right now, Jeffrey Finn guy's looking like he's going to fail to qualify if he doesn't pick up. Back here, Kyle Collins also needs to pick it up. Mason Gordon's on the outside looking in. He needs to jump up. Another two tenths to make the race. Sean Harple looks good. Jerry Guerrero looks good. Finn guy picks it up. Finn guy not enough there. And the 32 of Kyle Collins is not enough either. Dejon Weeks is in six, but he needs to pick up another seven hundredths of a second to make the race. Fisher looks good to make this round here. Chris Dodd doesn't look like he's going to make it. Um, James Shelley's in fourth as time is ticking away. Will these guys pick up? Dejon Weeks, he needs to pick it up here. Can he do it? No, he does not. Jordan Fisher's good. Dodd and Shelly coming to the line. Shelly's in the race. Dodd picks up, but it's not enough to get him in the race. Michael White needs this here to pick up. He picks up, but it's not going to be good enough. Jeffrey Finn guy not going to make it to the line. Yes, he did make it to the line, though. He picks it up, but the six quick. It's not going to be enough for Finn guy. Finn guy just going to miss it because Dom Caps has the pass. Champions provisional. Mason Gordon's going to miss it. Um, coming to the line, Dodd misses it. DeLeo, one last shot for Titanium. 
Caps is going to be in on a pass. Champions Professional. Delia's going to miss it. Finn Guy picks it up again, but it's not enough. Wow. Jerry Guerrero, the Hardy's National Series driver. Guerrero will make his first Sony Cup Series race for Carbondale, the quickest one in this session here. Jordan Fisher gets back in the Sony Cup Series field finally. Good thing for Jordan Fisher there. He's been missing a lot of races here. Good thing he jumps up in the second on the board there. Sean Harp on third. James Shelley will race in Carbondale for a second race week in a row. He makes the race. David Capepper races as well. <coughs> Jeffrey Fenguy would have been in the race had it not been for Dom Caps getting in on a past Champions Provisional. Fenguy, Collins, Dejon Wheats, Michael White, Chris Dodd, Mason Gordon, Matt DeLeo, and Matt Duncan will all fail to qualify. Dom Caps will use his third past Champions Provisional of the season and will start for Carbondale. Round two. Well, not really round two of qualifying, but the main qualifying for the 42 car field is getting ready and set here. As time is ticking now, Andreas Allen in the Gypsy Dodge is going to be the first car to take to the racetrack. Andreas Allen was the last team to make his um, announcement for 2017. And um, it's announced that Andreas will return to the 43 for a third season in a row. And um, leading that team, trying to bring that team to some wins. Trying to get them back on the map here. They've seemed like they've been going in the right direction for this little race team here. Sky Commons has earned a ride for Allen Family Racing. And even though Hayden Klein was on standby and that they was probably going to bring him back for next season. Sky Commons has impressed and Commons... Is going to take that ride over for next season, even though he's he's going to finish this season out and go full, full time next season. Ryan Acosta, the only driver to get wins for Allen Family Racing since it started in 2015, will return as well. Dylan Young, what a heartbreaker for him in the 78 um, Dodge as well there. He was so close. He had been in the top five in main season points all year and had a wreck at Las Vegas, the last race to get into the chase, and that wreck took him out of the championship point. Just goes to show you there, if you are not on top of your game and you wreck or have a problem, you'll, you can miss the chase or the next round just like that. So we are in the um, challenger round, the 16 drivers for the chase. Three races, Carbondale, Darlington, New York, Nick Mace and Luke Martin are one of those drivers. And Levi Pasco is as well. Pasco limped his way into the chase. He ended up finishing. He's right now 24th in the main season points. And is the lowest driver in the chase in the point stand. He's 24th in main season points. The Athenia Motorsports is no doubt the underdog coming into this um, chase. But Athenia Motorsports has made it known that they're going to throw everything they have and that shopping everything they can in that 55 car and taking less fo focus on that 27 team. But um, they're going to go against big guys like Curtis and the 9, the 17 chase driver, Jesse Turner, last season's champion, went around and has problems. That's Zebulon Stark. I think he's got issues as well, or he might be coming to pit road. But Turner, 38th on the board now. That is not good at all. Jesse Turner is going to have a bad starting position if he can not get back out there with a backup. He went around in turn one. That was running three wide. Bradley Bishop Jr. really was not staying in his line there. He was coming down on Turner. Fitzwater, I think, had a little piece as well, but Turner spun like a top there. And they're going to have to go to a backup, and Turner will start at the rear, which is not good at a short track. This was going to be Jesse Turner's big chance to get a win in advance in the next round. He won in Ohio earlier this season. That's the win that got him in the chase. But Turner, this was going to be a big chance for him to prove himself for the chase. But now that he's wrecked, this can be a bad starting position and a bad start to the chase. Eugene DeMax, you got to think that he's going to be one of the favorites here for the championship. Two wins. Mace Enterprises, with all their drivers that are in the chase, have two wins. 
Richard Johnson being the only one with no wins in that team. He's the only driver not in the chase. Fitzwater did miss that wreck there um, in the 8 Red Bull. Is the only Red Bull driver that is in the chase. His old teammate of Sean Perkins is with the Blue Flared squad. Nick Mays is on pit road making adjustments there. Chuck Togger in the 82. He's up here high on the grid. Jerry Guerrero midfield right now after being first in death of qualifying. Aaron Taylor and Sean Perkins are not that quick as I thought they should be here. Especially Aaron Taylor, 36 on the board. You're going to have to really prove yourself if you want to do well in the chase. Sean Perkins jumps up here on the grid with a faster lap time, but still got bumped down. Well, our ticker has kind of failed on us for now. Um, <coughs> we don't know who's running where, what the lap times are. So that's kind of a bummer, but Jesse Turner, they got that car on pit road. They need to get that car rolling for SCS officials to count it as him getting out there and running a lap because due to safety features, they would have to put that car at the rear of the field. Richard Johnson just missed the chase. Um, off points. Matthew Rodriguez coming in the chase. He's looking for a good opening here. Jeffrey Lynn just barely missed the chase. I feel bad for him. Jordan Fisher in the two car finally makes a race here. Running side by side with Malik Nevins' car. Um, Sean Harple makes this race. He fell to Las Vegas for some weird reason. James Silver Fox, a chase contender. And I think he, you're going to need to watch an eye out for Silver Fox. There's Andreas Allen. Jordan Davis, a chase contender. I hate that we don't know how long we have left there. The ticker has failed out on us. It is not functioning right. Nick Puricles, his teammate Sean Perkins, is a chase contender. Aaron Taylor. I really wish I knew where these guys were running, but... Zachary Fitzwater, he's going to have to prove himself here in the chase. It's going to be very interesting to see how Fitzwater does here. He came very close in Season 16. We had a chase system just like this. Fitzwater in Season 16 made the Final Four. It's going to be interesting to see how he does here. Holy crap. This was a big and weird qualifying session here. Jordan Fisher, who qualified his way into the race... In the Gorga Home session, it's the quickest driver. Jordan Fisher is going to lead us down for the green flag. Holy crap. Jordan Fisher, who has failed to qualify for quite a lot of races here, he was in a qualifying setup for this race weekend here in a Gorga Home session. Second in the board in Gorga Home session, and here he is, first on the board. Chase contenders of Jacob Hart, James Zora Fox, Eugene Max. Luke Martin, that is your top 10 drivers like in the chase there. That is good for them because this is um a ch this is going to be very big because short tracks, it's hard to pass on these short tracks and you need a good qualifying to do well here. Um, see, Cooper Siron, Levi Pasco doing well here. He needs a good qualifying effort. He got one here. Le Jeff, Jeff James, the chase contender, 13th. Charlie Smith, Noah Hart, a chase contender. Sean Harpo, Dylan Young, Sean Perkins did well in qualifying. Cody Lamas, Fitzwater, Commons, Nevins, Stark, Taylor, Curtis. Curtis starting back here. Togger, Galligan, Rodriguez in the back. Turner did not get back out there and will have to go to the rear of the field. However, um, he was further back anyways. Um, 42nd, James Shelley, the 29th. Jordan Davis and teammate Nick Mays have a long ways to go when they start this race weekend here. They're chase contenders. They're going to have to have a big uphill climb here. 30th and 32nd. Dom Katz will start at the rear of the field as well due to a past champions professional. Eric Burton, a chase contender, having to be back here as well. Guerrera, first SES race for him. Allen and Acosta, Allen Family Racing Cars back here. William Brock, David Culpepper, Carson Scott, Vincent Allen, Bradley Bishop Jr., and Jesse Turner, the only driver that did not get a really did not get a lap at all in. Um, him and Dom Caps will be forced to go to the rear of the field 
um, caps because of Fast Champions original, Jesse Turner because he did not run a lap in that car, um, but Turner's still back there anyways. But a crazy qualifying session brings underdog Jordan Fisher to the top of the board there. Jordan Fisher in a qualifying setup. He's in a full-blown qualifying setup because Fisher got tired of failing to qualify. Somehow is the quickest one in this qualifying session. And Fisher will lead us down to the green flag for Carbondale.